Are you ready to start decorating for fall? Hello everyone, my name is Shannon, The Daily DIYer, and I have so many amazing ideas, fall decor ideas for you today using a simple item you can find pretty much anywhere and they're super duper cheap. How about we hack clothespins? Yep, we're gonna be hacking those today and I wanna get started right now. Normally I tell you head on into Dollar Tree and we are gonna be using a lot of accessories to craft with today from there and you can find clothespins there as well. They have a pack of 36, which comes to three and a half cents per clothespin, but I've done some research for you to find you the best price. Walmart has them a little bit cheaper. You get those for about two and a half cents each in a pack of 100. However, this is the best deal of all. Head into Dollar General, you'll get a pack of 100 for $2, which makes them only two cents each. Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game when it comes to their holiday decor and crafting supplies, and I was so surprised to find these faux leather leaves, so I grabbed those for this very first project. Dollar Tree also carries great miniature clothespins. We're gonna use those for this first project too. You can find those in the crafting section or at your local craft store. So we're gonna go ahead and take our faux leaves and we're gonna make a really simple, quick and easy garland with them. So if you don't have a lot of time, this is one anybody can do. Mess free, quick and easy. These leaves have a little stem on them. So I came in with some scissors, trimmed that off so it was even. And then we're gonna take some heavy duty jute. I get this from Walmart, I'll link this down below too. It is four ply jute and I like to use this for crafting with because some of the stuff that comes from Dollar Tree is a little bit too thin. And then it's just as easy as taking those miniature clothespins and clipping our leaves right onto that jute. I did add one right over the end there. I have permanent nails in the front of my mantle because I put lots of different garlands on here throughout the year. You don't really see them, but I did use that leaf to kind of cover up the nail head. And it was really simple, quick and easy, like I said before, to just clip those leaves right onto the jute and then just evenly spaced them out. If you don't have a mantle like this, you can use this in so many other different ways too. If you have an entryway table, be pretty on there, or even if you have floating shelves, the great thing is you can customize the length to make it fit your space. Back into Dollar Tree, we're gonna grab one of these brown round boxes with lids, or kind of like the craft paper style boxes. We're gonna take this apart. We're just gonna need the lid, but keep the bottom part because obviously that'll be great for other crafts in the future. We're gonna take our regular clothespins for this project and we're gonna take the clip side and just clip those right onto the lid of our brown paper box, going all the way around until it's completely covered. And this really is a quick process. And once you've finished, it'll look like this. You can use it just like this if you want. However, I have a cute way to dress this up using another great Dollar Tree item. I found these cute faux leather tags. We're gonna use the leaf one on this project, but you could use the pumpkin if you want to. Dollar Tree also has great baker's twine in their fall section right now too. I grabbed all three of these colors. I'm gonna use the brown one on this project. But of course, as always, you would use whatever works with your home's decor. And we're just gonna wrap that twine around this a few times, tie a couple knots, and then trim off the excess. Then to add our leaf, we're just gonna use some hot glue, cover up that knot, and then hold it tight until it's dried. So you can leave it like this again, but I'm gonna add a little clear glass votive holder from Dollar Tree in there, and also an LED candle in there. I just really love the glass as it helps to kind of bounce the light off from the candle, and you can see it really glows really nice in there. So like I showed you here you can use this for candles but this would be cute to even add some fall greenery in there too you can make several of them they'd be cute down the center of your table as a centerpiece but so so quick and easy up next go ahead grab some more of these clothespins from dollar tree along with some bamboo skewers we're gonna make some photo clips with these to help add into our fall decor and to do that we're gonna take one of those barbecue skewers some hot glue and we're gonna clip on or we're gonna glue on one of our clothespins you just want the clip side facing up and the pinch side facing down it's so quick and easy to just hot glue those right onto those barbecue skewers Next, I printed off some of our most recent favorite photos and just turned them black and white and printed them onto regular white cardstocks. So they'd have a little bit more thickness so they'd stand up for me. And then clip those onto those clothespins that are on our barbecue skewers. And this is the cutest way to just kind of display some photos that are easily interchangeable too. 
Next, this is a vase from Dollar Tree last year. I used it in my Halloween decor, but we're gonna change it into fall decor for this year. I am obsessed with copper for fall, so I love this spray paint. I'll link this down below along with some other supplies I'm using in this video, so check that out. I made it easy for you to find down there. We're just taking that black vase and covering it with the copper spray paint. Isn't that gorgeous? It just is such a warm but kind of elegant tone. So we're gonna use that vase to add some some of these leaves too. These are from Dollar Tree. I love them. They kind of have like a peachy and cream tone to them, more of a neutral look. But of course, if you like the more orange and red leaves, you can do that too. Whatever matches your home's decor, we're going to put those in the vase. And then we're going to use some wire cutters or some pliers to just trim down our barbecue skewers to size. I did cut them to different sizes and different lengths. So I would have some varying heights within the vase. So this is just a really quick, simple, and easy idea. Now, of course, you can clip whatever you want onto those clothespins as well. I think they'll be cute to add some quotes to it or even use this for Thanksgiving and maybe put something along the lines of what you're grateful for on there. Make your guests kind of fill out a little leaf or something that you could clip those onto. So sky's the limit with the ideas for this project. Dollar Tree has lots of amazing picture frames. I always head there first when I need one, and we're also going to need one of their adhesive cork sheets. In their craft section, we're gonna pair these together along with some foam board to create our own little cork board. So this is really quick and easy to put together. We're gonna take our frame. I found this rectangle one and it's kind of about, about the right size for the cork board, which is why I grabbed it. We're gonna take this frame apart. You wanna keep the backing because it has a hanger on it. We're gonna repurpose that, but you can dispose of the art or use it for another project. Same thing with the glass. Just be very careful. They are very sharp. Then we're gonna come in with some pliers and we're gonna move all of the tabs along the edges. Just use your pliers and pull those right out. They pop right off for you. Then we're gonna take that backing that we saved, trace that onto the cork board, use some scissors to cut that out down to size to make sure it fits in the frame. We're gonna do the same thing with our foam board that's gonna make our cork board thicker for us so we can put some thumbtacks in there, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. So make sure those are cut down to size and then peel off the backing on your cork board, apply that onto the foam board and hot glue that onto the frame. Then you'll also hot glue the backing back onto the frame and we have a very simple quick and easy cork board that you can use in your office or in your craft space now let's make the cute little fall clothes pins that are going to go on here so i have some washi tape i didn't have specifically fall but i found some fall color ones it's so easy to dress up clothes pins with it and i use washi tape any chance i get because i love it so much we're just going to take our washi tape and apply it right onto the front there take your scissors trim down the top and the bottom so it fits with in the uh, clothespin and then roll down the edges so it looks nice and tailored. Then we just went ahead and did that with the other colors here. So I made five clothespins total. And then we're gonna turn these into thumbtacks just simply by hot gluing some thumbtacks, which you can find a Dollar Tree, mine are from Walmart, probably cheaper at Dollar Tree. Um, and just hot gluing those right in the center there onto the backs. Then we're gonna go ahead and repeat that for the rest of our clothespins. So they all have little push pins on the back and they will look so cute just like these here. And then you can actually use them. So we're gonna add those right onto the front of our cork board or maybe you wanna forego making the cork board, you already have one. And then you just have some cute fall clothespins to add on there. These kind of do double duty as they act as a thumbtack. So you can pin stuff behind it or you can also clip things onto the bottom with the clothespin. Now I did more of a fall look, but you can get creative and get personalized and make them whatever colors that you want. Up next, we're gonna need a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. We're gonna make our own little jack-o'-lantern out of him using about, you're gonna need about 85 <laughs> clothespins for this. I did count just so you guys had an idea. We're gonna take some hot glue. We're gonna run little sections around the edge of the pizza pan and then take our clothespins and add them into the glue, just clipping them all the way around the sides. Now, I did do like every single inch of the edges, but you could space them out a little bit farther and it'll do two things. You won't need as many clothespins and it won't be so heavy as well. And then I highly recommend using spray paint for this process as it will go so much quicker for you. I will link this color down in the description box 
below. You definitely want to get around all the edges because there is an underside to those clothespins. Do a couple coats, make sure you have good coverage, walk around it, spray it, spray it, spray it. And then you'll have what looks like this. Now we need to add our jack-o'-lantern face. I'm gonna use some vinyl, but if you don't want to use vinyl or don't have any, you can use felt, you can use cardstock, whatever you have on hand. You don't necessarily have to have a vinyl cutting machine to actually use vinyl, so keep that in mind too. We're not gonna be using a vinyl machine here. I just drew a jack-o'-lantern mouth onto this piece and I'm using some scissors to hand cut it out. And I also did that with the eyes and the nose. For the eyes, it did help to fold a piece in half and then cut two triangles at the same time to make sure they were the same size. And then you'll just go ahead, peel off the paper backing from your vinyl and apply it to the front like a regular sticker. Then we're also going to add some more detail to this. We're going to give him a stem. So I came in with some uh, acrylic green paint and painted about five of the clothes clothespins right at the top in the center between his face. And then also added some greenery to the top. We really want this to look like a jack-o'-lantern. So this is just some boxwood I added in there, hot glued that on. And this is some wire jute that you can get at Dollar Tree. I like it because you bend it and it will stay in place. And I wanted to give this guy some sort of jack-o'-lantern vines. So I'm just wrapping that around a paint bottle, cutting through it with some regular scissors, and then just attaching it underneath one of the clothespins pins to keep it in place. I did even twist my curly cues a little bit tighter so it looked a little bit, I don't know, more jack-o'-lantern like. <laughs> so just kind of play with it, get it in the placement that you want and give him those details. And then I'm sure lots of people are going to ask, how do you hang him? Well, we're going to use some burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. We're going to cut that down to size and then we're going to flip this guy over to the back. And we're going to extra secure it with not just some hot glue, but also some duct tape. You could also use some E6000 and that will really keep it in place permanently for you. I glued down one, put some duct tape, glued it down the other side, put more duct tape, and there we have it. We have a really cute jacqueline lantern wreath. I am so in love with this jack-o'-lantern, but take this idea, make it your own. You could put your own little saying in the middle, make it a little more rustic if you want, if that's more your vibe. Now we're gonna make a ghost out of a clothespin. You'll need some yarn. I found mine at Dollar Tree and also a wood bead. Mine is one inch size. I will make sure to link that down below so you can find and order them if you want to from Amazon or you can find them at craft stores too. We're gonna take some hot glue and just attach our wood bead right to the clip end of our clothespin. And then you'll need something hard so that we can wrap our yarn around. This is just a box from Dollar Tree that you want to be taller and longer than your clothespin with a wood bead on it. We're gonna take our yarn and we're just gonna wrap and wrap and wrap like crazy around that box until we have a good amount. Then we're gonna trim that off, trim another extra little piece. We're gonna set that to the side, slip off our yarn, make sure to hold it tight. You, we, we still wanna have that round look and we're going to take our clothespin, place that in the middle there and cover it up. So we're gonna be very careful, grab a round that wood bead that is gonna be the head of our ghost we're gonna take that extra piece we just snipped off and we're gonna lay that right over it and then tie a knot to where it will sit right underneath the wood bead at the top of our clothespin Make sure to tie a couple knots to make sure that's good and secured before coming in and tr trimming off the tails there. Then we're gonna grab the bottom, hold that secure, and we're gonna take some scissors and trim off the bottom loops, and that's gonna be the bottom of our ghost. Then we, of course, need to give him some eyes and a mouth. So this is just some black felt using some scissors to trim two ovals for the eyes and then a little bit larger of an oval for the mouth. Use some hot glue or whatever kind of adhesive you want to attach those onto the head. So I have made tassel ghosts in the past, but the neat thing about this guy is since he has that clothespin on the inside there, he will actually sit up, which is great for a shelf or in a tiered tray. So now that we've made a ghost, let's make a mummy. So this is some white fabric from Dollar Tree. This is a really quick and easy DIY. You could do several of these at one time. This would be a good kid craft too. We're gonna take that fabric, cut a little slit in it, and then we're gonna pull the fabric so it kind of frays. 
we don't need that piece that is just going to create the raw edge on one side snip over about half an inch and then pull it again this is the piece that we're going to use for our mummy we're also going to remove any of the extra strings that are kind of hanging off there and then at that point you can take your hot glue and secure a tail onto the end of your your clothespin and just start wrapping that fabric around till you get to the end and then go ahead and hot glue the tail and trim off any excess. Just hot glue a couple little wiggly eyes onto the top and we have a cute, adorable mummy clothespin. Now let's finish off this set and make a bat. So I found this great glitter felt at the craft store. We're going to flip that over and we're going to make our bat wings out of it. So this is just a white colored pencil that helps me kind of see the, the lines that I'm freehanding on here to make one bat wing. We're going to mark the center, fold it in half, and then we're going to cut with some regular scissors that shape that we just drew on there. Once you get it cut out, you just lay it flat, glitter side up or regular side up if you don't like the glitter. And then we're going to take apart our clothespin and use some black paint. And we're going to paint all the wood pieces, fronts, backs, and sides to look like the middle of our bat. So once that dries, go ahead and reassemble your clothespin. And then we're just going to simply use some hot glue on the back there, right in the middle. And we're going to glue that onto our bat wings. And as you can see here, the clothespin little points up on the top kind of look like the ears of a bat so it looks so super cute and it was so easy to make so as I said earlier these look so cute in a tiered tray it makes a cute little set or you could even add these onto a garland and make several of them and kind of alternate them to get a quick and easy Halloween garland effect if you're looking for more fall and Halloween DIY ideas, I just recently released a video using tomato cages and showed you how to make these two cute pieces along with others. And I'll have that video popping up on your screen. You can click over and watch next. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.